kindergarten. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, and Baby Maverick wanted to be here today to say hi, so he'll probably be in and out of some of the videos as we talk today. That's okay. Um, I hope that you guys had fun on our Zoom call yesterday. It was great to see all the different things you had found around your house that started with our letters. It was fun to see how some of us had the same thing as somebody else. Um, great job with that activity. Next week, we're going to be doing a Zoom call, but it's going to be in the evening time. Um, and I'll explain that to you guys later next week, um, but it's going to be a fun activity and we're all going to wear our pajamas. And I'm excited. I'll even put Baby Maverick in pajamas too. So I'm excited to see you guys on Zoom next week, but let's go ahead for today and we're going to get started with our morning work. So let's take a peek right now together. Today on your morning work, you're going to again be working with counting tally marks. And part of counting tally marks is being able to count by fives. If you can count by fives, it will help so much with your tally marks. So we're going to start practicing that today and then we're going to continue practicing that for the next few days. And this is something that you can always practice at home as well. So some, one of the things I like to do is use my hands because we know that we have five fingers on each hand. Most of us do. Sometimes kids don't. That's okay. So we're going to be using our hands to count by fives. And it goes like this. Five, ten. And then I take my hands back and I go 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. You remember, each of the numbers I was hitting with this hand went 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We just add the number with five in between. So it's counting by tens, but we have 25 and then 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70. We're going to keep practicing that in the days to come because counting by fives helps us so much when we're counting our tally marks. Let's go ahead and look at our morning work together. Your morning work today begins the same way where you're going to be counting and comparing your numbers with an alley alligator and you'll do the same for this box. Then down here you're going to match your word to the number and then you're going to be counting tally marks. And this is where that counting by five is going to be really helpful. Instead of counting each of these tally marks, you can count them as a group of five and go five, ten. Do we have another five here? Nope. So now we're going to have to count on from ten. So five, ten, eleven, twelve. And see if you can do that for each of these boxes down here. And then you're also going to be counting on from these numbers in order to find what number you land on. I want to see if you guys can do that all on your own today. On the back today, you're looking for words that begin with FR, and FR says fruit. We have fruit, rabbit, feather, fries, fish, and frown. And then over here, you're going to circle the beginning sound in our word frame and our word fork. You have the sight word they and the sight word big today. So unscramble those letters to write your sight words correctly. And then you're going to color pictures with the same vowel sound. Remember, our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. So we have tape, kite, vase, and bike. Down here we have our word dog, like these two that are play fighting right now. That's our word dog. We're going to be changing our word dog to our word frog. So what letters do we need for the word frog? 
frog. Go ahead and write the word frog on this line right there. Today for math, we're going to be working with number bonds again. But instead of having circles like we've had here recently, we actually have rectangles today. And our paper doesn't really look like it's a number bond. So before we even get started looking at our paper, we're gonna be drawing the lines to connect our whole number to our parts on our paper because the lines almost erased when I ran the copies. So we're gonna start there together so that we have the fix and then we're gonna look at what they want us to do for our math paper today because it has us looking at tens and ones and how when we have our tens and our ones as our parts, it makes our whole number. So we'll take a look together right now. All right, before we do anything else today for your math work, we need to draw our lines to connect our whole number to our parts. So you can kind of see them if you look really close, but they're really light. So go ahead and take a pen or a pencil and draw lines from your whole number to your two part boxes. And you can do that for each of the problems now so that you can see what we're doing because we're connecting our two parts together in order to find our whole number. So draw your lines now to connect all of your boxes in order to find your whole number. All right, and then we're gonna start by looking together at this first problem up here on the top. We're gonna do two together and then you'll do the rest on your own. So we can see that we have how many 10 frames all the way filled up. Okay, we have one that's all the way filled up and then this one isn't full. So we know that we're gonna have one 10 and then we're gonna have some ones. So we're gonna start because we have one 10, we're gonna write 10 in our first part because we know that when we have a dot in every space in a 10 frame, that means that we have 10. So we're gonna go ahead and put our 10 there and then we need to figure out how many ones we have in our other 10 frames. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in this box, we're gonna write our ones, which is our number eight. Great job. And then we need to find out our whole number. So we wanna know how many we have all together. So I can either say, I know that 10 and eight makes, if you know what that makes, or I can count all of my dots and or I can say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So our whole number is 18 because we have 18 dots all together. Next, we're gonna look at this box over here. How many 10 frames do I have all the way filled up? One, good. So I have one 10. So my first part is going to be the number 10. And then how many ones do I have over here? Three, good. So I'm gonna write that part over here. In one sense, what I'm doing is I'm taking this group and making it this part, and this one and making it this part down there. Now I wanna know how many I have all together. Does anyone know what 10 and three is all together? If you do, go ahead and write it here. If not, count your dots now and see what you get. You should have gotten 13. If you didn't get 13, recount to make sure you get it correct. Go ahead and do the rest of your paper now. Your mystery word for today is the word jet. So go ahead and turn to your mystery word paper and write the word jet for today. As you continue to work on phonics this week, remember that most of you are working on our letter O. Some of you are doing long O that says O. Oh. Others of you are doing short O that says a, uh, a, uh, octopus. The rest of you are working on your digraph WH together. So as you continue to practice, continue to work on each of those sounds, remembering that WH says hua, hua. Great job with your phonics this week. You've got one more day practicing these sounds before you move on to your next sound. For reading today, make sure you read your passage three times to get that extra practice with reading, and then answer your questions that are asked about the passage that you just read. 
And then on the back, you're going to be doing a rainbow right. Our words today are the words they, are, but, and she. So you're going to be using your colors red to write each word in red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink to do a rainbow right. If you don't have those crayons, choose any colors you can find and help practice. The more you practice writing them, the better you will be at reading them. That's what you're working on for reading today. For writing, don't forget to finish up your nonfiction piece. This is your last nonfiction writing, and we're going to be moving on to persuasive writing next week, and I'm excited for you to learn a new kind of writing. You've been doing nonfiction writing for the last five weeks, looking at how can we learn about a topic and get information from the things we write and the things we read. Great job to today. We'll see you tomorrow, and tomorrow is going to be Friday. Woohoo! We'll see you then.